Hello there friends, so today I wanted to talk about a feature of Google Chrome uh, named uh, Google Chrome Profiles. So in Google Chrome you can have multiple profiles that you use to browse. So in this tutorial I'll just take you through the different profiles that uh, you can create. So basically there are two types of profiles. The guest profile which is uh, by default created for you for guest browsing. And then uh, the normal profiles, the other profiles that uh, you create as a user. So when you install Google Chrome the first time, you will have uh, like two profiles already set up. But also you'll have an option to add additional profiles. So I'll just show you the default profiles that you'll find in your Google Chrome instance. <clears throat> there are two main profiles that you'll have. When you launch your Google Chrome browser, there is this profile that launches at first. It will have this name person one. So this is the normal profile that has been created for you. When you are using a normal profile, it will it will behave different than a person who is using guest profile. So I'll just explain. The normal profile allows the browser to save your browsing history and uh, any browsing data, including cookies, from the uh, from the websites that you visit. And then when you are using guest browser, it switches the browser to guest mode so that any histories, any browsing sessions, and any browsing data will not be saved. So I'll just show you how to switch between the, the default normal profile and then the guest profile. So to switch to guest profile, just uh, there is this icon with an avatar at the end of the search bar. So just click on it and then it will open this uh, pop-up or this, uh, this uh, pop-over. Pop from this uh, popover, just look for down here, look for this title, other profiles, and then you'll see this other entry the, with the, the title guest. Click on it, it will open a new guest window. Uh, it will open a new Google Chrome window that uh, will help you to browse as a guest. Then from this window, you can do whatever you want. You can search, you can search different, uh, you can search different things. But uh, remember, whatever you search in this window will not be stored in your history and will not be saved in your browser in your browsing data. So anything that these websites will, uh, any data that these websites will try to save in your browser, if we close this guest session, it will lose all that data. But uh, remember, when you download any files and save anything from the websites that you visit, those files will be saved in your machine. So basically what guest mode or guest uh, profile helps you with is to dispose all your browsing history and all the data saved by the sites in your browsing session. So for instance, uh, I'll just show you something. When you open, a, when, you change to a, when you change to a new profile, the other profile that you're browsing in will remain open. As you can see here, the other profile is right here. It remained open. And then it opened a new window for the guest browsing, which is right here, the window that I just resized. So remember when you click on a new profile, while you are on the normal profile and you click on this icon and then you click on this profile, the other profile down here, any other profile down here, it will open in a new window. And then you can use that window to browse within that profile. So that's all about uh, guest profile. We'll just close it you can close it by using that close icon or if you have open guest guest session like this you can close it by clicking on this so just click on this avatar then click on close it will close the guest session and then you will be left with the default session that is a normal session in google chrome the normal session helps you to save your browsing data automatically the browser will have a history of every page you visited and all the data that was saved by those sites, including cookies, will also be saved in your browser. Now, how can we create a normal profile? Remember that uh, by default, when you launch your Google Chrome browser, this is the default profile that comes with it. So how can we add another profile? So to add a profile, click on this icon. Then down here, you'll see this add menu. Click on it. It will open this window for you. And then uh, from this window, you can... Uh, create a new profile and customize it. So remember, a profile is like a setting that defines a Google Chrome session for you. So from this window, just click on this 
icon to choose the avatar for your profile. Then you'll be presented with a list of many avatars. Choose the avatar that you like. For us, we'll go with the panda. Then uh, from this from this input here down here, you'll see this text that read, reads add a name or a label. So for this one, we'll just add a name for the profile that we are creating. Let's call it work profile like that or work session so that it makes more sense and then uh, down here you can pick a theme a theme color for your browsing session so remember by default google chrome uses the default color profile which is white and gray but uh, for your case you can customize it to the colors that you like for the work profile i'll go with the uh, the light teal color here you go when you click on it you'll see it shows you the primary theme color here at the top here so once you select your theme color right here down here you'll see the done button click on it and then it will create your profile and then it will open it in a new window so remember this is a new window that just opened with our profile this is the old window that had the default profile person one so once it opens the new profile you can start your browsing or you can sign in with another google account you can do a lot of things from a different profile just like you're doing in a normal browser but these settings will only be preserved for this particular profile so like in this profile i can sign in with my work email i can sign in with my google google account that i use for my work and then in this other account i can sign in with my other accounts that i use for other things so that's it about creating a profile then how can we customize our created profile so to customize this profile that we just created remember when we created it it opened in a new window so let's say you close this window how do you open the profile that we just created because by default when you hover here you see the name of the current profile which is person one so if you want to switch to the profile that we just created which was the work session just click here and then you see the other profiles down here click on work session it will open this profile that we just created and then from this window you can customize your profile by clicking on this on this uh, avatar icon that I, we just chose for this profile and then you click on this edit so when you hover here you see this text that reads customize profile then click on it click on that pencil icon pencil like icon then from this page it will open a new tab from this uh, tab you can modify the session the session name like for us we'll leave it as work session then you can you can change your theme color if you don't like this theme for me i like uh, this color so i'll leave it then down here you can change your avatar also so you let's say we want to use a uh, penguin so when you choose it it immediately reflects here so that's how you can customize your normal profile remember you cannot customize the guest profile from this from these settings here so this is how you customize your normal profile now how do we edit the default profile that google chrome comes with so remember this is the other profile that we just opened i resize the window now i'll close it so this is the default profile that google chrome creates for you so you can also edit this one just click here and then click the edit icon which is a pencil like icon then it will open the settings page for you then here you can choose a name that you like and then uh, for the theme i leave it as default or you can choose any theme you want the primer the colors for your browser so you might go with the uh, light blue and then uh, the avatar we can select an avatar for our default normal profile so we'll select the bad icon and then that's it so you've you've modified your default profile you've given it a new name and also you've given it different colors and different avatar and a different avatar than the default avatar and then uh, another thing when you are editing your profile remember that uh, there is this option here if none of these colors impresses you and you want to use your own color you can just click on this first circle that has custom color it will open for you a color picker and then from the color picker you can select different colors that you want 
like for for instance you can drag this uh, this uh this icon here across these color labels and choose different colors that you want if you want this color or this a mixture of that and this so you just drag and adjust these different values to be what you want and then once you're done let's say i choose pure red like that once you're done just click outside and then that's the theme that will be used so remember the color that you choose is the one that will reflect on this circle and it's the one that will be selected that's the theme that our browser will use so if we open a new tab you realize it's using the red color that we just chose so that's how you customize uh, your profiles that's how you edit them and that's how you can change the names and use different profiles so i've just shown you up to this step i've just shown you how you can add a new profile how you can edit an existing profile so remember you can add as many profiles as you want for our case i just add another profile so to add a profile on any window of your google chrome browser click on this uh, icon it will bring up this uh, pop-up then uh, down here you can just click add and then you can pick a name for a profile let's say uh, we call it schoolwork then we choose an icon for schoolwork so for this one i will choose i'll choose a fox icon or you can go with uh with ice water like that so feel free to choose any icon you want for any profiles you create once you choose an icon click on done then uh you can choose a theme color for this particular profile so this is school profile so we'll go with uh let's say dark pink and red and then uh click on done so now we've opened three sessions or three profiles on our browser remember this is the first one that i just created and it's called schoolwork then there is this second one let me minimize resize the window it's called uh play space and then there is this other one so if i just make this big there is this other one work session if i open it it has a different theme also so we have this profile we have this profile have this profile and then we have this profile so what happens if you close all of this profile so if you close all of this profile the last profile that you close is the one that will be active when you open your browser again so for instance if we close work session as the last session as the last profile so let's just close these other profiles then we'll be left with the work profile the profile that we named work session so if we close it as the last profile and then we open our google chrome browser it will uh, bring up this window and then uh, you can either choose to show this window on startup if we choose not to show this window on startup it will not show on startup when you close your browser since this option was selected initially it will show you this particular window and then you can either choose to browse in guest mode by clicking this icon down here i just explained what guest mode does then you can either choose to go to the play space profile you can also choose to go to schoolwork profile or you can choose to go to work session profile or you can also decide to add a new profile from this particular window so these are all options that i've touched on when you click on add profile it just works like the add profile that i just showed you within the browser so for this for this uh, case i just click on work session and when you click on work session that's how you open the browser session and remember if we close this and then we open google chrome again to bring up this window so if this window is annoying to you you can just click uh, and check this checkbox so that it doesn't show on startup and then uh, you can choose the session that you want to work on so we have chosen the work session then if i close my browser again and i open it so this is what i was trying to tell you earlier it will automatically open the last profile that i had i had opened previously so once you open this profile you can just switch between the different profiles that you have so if i click play space it will open another window with the play space session and from there i can browse my tabs and all that 
and I can check my history and all that. And if I'm done with the with the play space profile, I can close it and then I can come back here and check and uh, click on schoolwork profile. And then I will minimize the window and close the work profile and then I can use the school session or the school profile session. So that's how you open and close your browser profile and I've just shown you all the steps. So remember you can create a unlimited number of profiles and you can open unlimited number of profiles depending on your need and your use case. So how do we get rid of a profile? Let's say I have these uh, profiles. The current profile is schoolwork. Then I have play space and then I have work session. Let's say I want to get rid of uh, the play space profile. So how do we get rid of a profile? To get rid of a, pro of a profile, make sure you open at least one profile and then click here. So the profile that you want to get rid of, make sure you don't open it. Just open the other profile. Like for our case, I opened the schoolwork profile. And let's say I want to get rid of the play space profile. So click on this settings icon. When you hover on it, it will show you a title that, that reads manage profiles. Click on it. It will open the window that I showed you earlier. So to delete a profile. So for our case, we want to delete this profile. Just click on these three vertical dots on the, on a profile card. This is a profile card. Click on these three vertical dots. And then there is this option edit, which enables you to edit a profile I showed you earlier. And also there is delete. So we click on delete and then it will delete this profile permanently, removing our browser history passwords, bookmarks, and autofill data that was saved by this session. So if we delete this particular profile like that, we'll only be left with the two profiles, the schoolwork and the work session. And then you can just open one of these like that. So that's how you delete a profile. So thank you again for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more videos on Google Chrome and other browsers. See you soon, guys. Remember to like and comment below. And if you have any suggestions, I'll be glad to hear them.